Hi ladies, welcome back to Let's Play. This is card 27 in the series. Um, today we're going to get really, really messy. If you can have a look, we are going to play with stencils, we're going to play with texture paste, paint, and with inks as well. All right, so let's get started. First thing we're going to do is we're going to use a playing card. Anyone is fine. I found an old music book at my local secondhand shop. And I'm just going to use a piece of sheet music. Um, the reason for that is I just want to have a little bit of design behind my little hearts. What we're going to be doing with our stencils today is we're going to be working with the reverse of the stencil and not the front as we would normally do. Okay, so there we go. That is stuck down and we are just going to remove the corner so we can see our card all right so just get a mat with our stencils if you have a look this is a stencil from celebrate and i have not inked on the inside of the hearts i've inked on the middle part that holds the hearts together so this is reverse stenciling what i'm going to do is i'm using distress ink this is fired brick. It's a nice dark red because I thought with hearts we can go nice with red. And what I'm going to do is color in my stencil. Make sure it's nice and wet with ink. Sorry. <clears throat> and then we are going to give it a light mist. Just with a bit of water. While that is wet, I'm going to wipe this down here. We're then going to take our card and we're going to flip this over and we are going to place that on top of our card. Just use your tissue again just to flatten that onto your card and then you gently peel it away and voila you have this beautiful negative print on your Card, as opposed to the hearts you're now having the white part of the heart sticking out all right so once you have done that looks like a bloodbath sorry about that <clears throat> okay I'm just going to quickly draw that while you're drying that what you need to do now is you need to go through your stash and you need to just find a piece of hardboard so the back of any paper pad that you've got, anything that's a little bit harder than normal paper, because we're going to create a quick stencil that we're going to paint over. So if it's a little bit too soft, then it doesn't work as well. <clears throat> so I've just used a little piece of chipboard that I had. It's like a little bit thicker. It was a paper pad. And <clears throat> I randomly just cut a little heart out. <clears throat> Obviously, make sure that whatever you cut out fits onto your card. If you have a look here now, I'm going to end up covering my A, which I don't really want to do. So I'm just going to make my heart a little bit smaller. Okay, and do it that way rather. No, that way looks better. Okay, so like that. And I can move him a little bit lower. All right, so <clears throat> if you have a look so far. We are then going to hold this in place. If you have got um, what's a repositionable tape, you can use it. I didn't have, so I didn't bother using. And I'm going to just use black gesso for this because I find the gesso is quite thick. And it actually works quite well. <clears throat> Bring another sheet of this. This is extremely messy now, guys. So please just hold this very tight. That you don't get any paint underneath your image. Okay. <clears throat> oh, I need more paint. So you can see what I'm doing. And you're going to give it a nice fit coat of paint. Well, gesso. All right, and you can just neaten that up. Okay, I have gone over my A by mistake, so I just want to wipe that off. So I do want to see my Ace of Hearts. I'm just going to do that. Alrighty, here we go. Let me just show you what I've done. So you can see now that the whole thing has been covered. Alright, once you have done that, you are then, while it is wet, 
put that down put your gesso away and we are now going to take white gesso or white paint whatever you've got on hand it really doesn't matter okay and you are going to make a puddle <coughs> and you are going to make it into a very like a a blotchy puddle i don't want it to be too thin all right and you are going to oh <laughs> i hate splatter it goes all over everything but it does look nice all right so we are going to just splatter do it that way okay so if you splatter from the top you end up with these cool lines okay so hold your brush tight and splatter from the top oh that actually looks quite cool okay you never know what you're going to get so it's quite exciting and what we're going to do let me just mind all this out of the way all right so there we go it looks like that at the moment and now this is where the magic happens you slowly peel away your center and there is your little heart underneath that you have just created I am going to draw this with a heat gun quickly. I hope you don't mind. I know it's not fun watching me draw paint. <clears throat> um, while you're busy with this, what you can do so long is think for me what kind of embellishments you want to add to your card. If you have a look at mine, I'll show you quickly. I've tied some baker's twine around it and I've put a metal feather and a nice little quote as well. Right, so it's quite plain and simple. You don't have to go overboard. Just make sure that it works and it's nice and it goes with the theme. You don't have to use a heart. I'll just show you. The first one I made, I cut out a little lady, a little, uh, what do you call it, paper piece in little girl. But she was quite messy. So I thought the heart is actually a better idea. But you can use any design that you want. Just make sure it's got a big enough center that you can see your pattern underneath. Alrighty, let's mind all this stuff out of the way. <clears throat> Sorry, please excuse my coughing. I have swallowed a chip the wrong way and now it's stuck in my throat. <clears> throat> okay, look how fantastic that looks. So you've got all that white splatter and you have got your awesome um, red hearts underneath. Alright, the next step that I'm going to do is if you have a look, is I have used texture paste. I have done a postage stamp on this one. You can color your texture paste. If you look at this one that I've done, I used text and I colored it. So it actually looked quite nice. Cool. Hope you can see that. All right. So you are going to be using a stencil with texture paste. I have used this postage stencil on my card. And just with plain texture paste, you can do colored texture paste as well if you like. This is just mixed with a little bit of ink. Alrighty, so what we are going to do, <clears throat> I'm just going to take my normal little birdie texture paste. And not a lot, we're just going to give it a slight less is more in the corner. And I just want a few little lines on this side over here. <clears throat> there we go. Plain and simple and perfect. All right, once that's done, you can let that dry. <clears throat> and then, as I said, all I have done with mine <clears throat> is I just took some baker's twine and I wrapped it around and I put a little quote in the middle and I hung a little charm off the card. Alrighty, that is your card for the week. I hope you enjoyed it. I can't wait to see what cards you make. Go wild, go free, do any shape. It doesn't have to be a heart like mine. I'd like to see what you can come up with. And remember, do not post your card under the video. Post it under the official card 27, no, 20, yeah, 27 post on Scrap and Sell. Cool girls, please stay safe and I shall chat to you next week. Bye.